Your news on the go. An officer involved shooting in Syracuse remains under investigation. Uh, the EA Bill Fitzpatrick told us the latest information on this one last night. He says the man who was shot was actually armed with a starter pistol. We'll have more on that story in a minute. Let's take you first to the open house for the State Transportation Department last night, talking to people who came about Interstate 81 and the plan for the community grid to replace the viaduct. No new information from DOT, but everybody got a chance to ask their questions. And next Tuesday at Henniger High School, there'll be another meeting at 6 o'clock on the same subject. Now back to that other story, DA Bill Fitzpatrick, telling us that the 74-year-old Syracuse man shot and killed by police yesterday was armed with a starter pistol, it wasn't a gun. Officers were called here to Dwayne Watkins' home on West Calthrop Avenue. Mid-morning yesterday, they say Watkins threatened a responding police officer with what looked like a gun, and so the officer discharged his weapon, striking Watkins several times. Well, Syracuse police have chosen a location and a time for its community forum on the use of force after publicly sharing those details of an updated policy last Friday. So Chief Kitten Buckner, as well as Mayor Ben Walsh and Deputy Mayor Sharon Owens will be at St. Lucie's Church, and that'll be at 5.30 at the Gem from 5.30 to 7.30 p.m. Friday, June 28th, and they'll be ready to explain that new policy as well as answer some questions. Syracuse police have another homicide investigation on their hands. Detectives called here to the 2000 block of Midland Avenue near Brighton Ave Monday night. They found 19-year-old Michael Lacoste with a stab wound, rushed to the hospital, and he was later pronounced dead. Investigators say there was a fight that preceded the fatal stabbing. Well, Vernon Downs is in the running to host Woodstock 50. Producer Michael Lang has reportedly contacted Oneida County about staging the music festival there and is also considering some sites in Onondaga and Oswego counties. Well, Lang originally planned the festival for Watkins Glen, but some disputes over the size of the event led to a disagreement with authorities, and Lang eventually lost his financial backers. And what a day for Rose Day in Syracuse, and so it is. Today, Rose Day festivities at Thorndon Park, scheduled from noon to 3. They'll have music, they'll have some light refreshments, and of course, all the roses. And it doesn't stop today. People on Sunday are welcome to visit the June Rose Show competition on the third floor of Destiny USA's Canyon area. Members of the Rose Society will be competing for Best Rose.